All right. Welcome to, for me, an early morning Grease Pencil, or Grease Pencil, Grease Monkey video stream. I am the Grease Monkey, and today, uh, normally these Wednesdays, what I do, oh, I shouldn't have worn a green shirt. Look at that. What am I doing? Unprofessional. Anyway, today, uh, what I'm going to be doing, as I'm still setting up, by the way, today what I'm going to be doing is working on some gun designs for fun. I've been practicing uh, the, the anatomy like all week, yesterday, the day before, all day, every day, and I'm just kind of, just kind of need some, some creative release. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, if you don't mind, I'm going to be playing some soothing rain train noises. I don't know if that's going to bother anybody. Rain train sounds. Because <laughs> I it, it soothes me. So if you hear that, I'm sorry. So I have it muted. Let's see. There we go. So I got some rain, train, thunderstorm. That I'm on YouTube here. Okay. So I'm going to be going over some uh, gun designs. I have some reference files that I'm going to download. I'm going to use a 3D for like a very little part. I want to spend most of my time drawing this uh, this time around. But I do want to put like a base of a 3D model that will help me with different angles and stuff like that. Uh, and just get some practice in making like guns and this is mostly as like a practice for props for 2d props and and drawing and grease pencil and just getting better overall um, in the grease pencil realm and stuff so I see there's two of you in there in the chat if you guys have any questions uh, please feel free to ask uh, I guess I'll take these two minutes and I'll just set up my my scene i'll put my reference file in here make sure everything is good well, let's came in at an angle rotate x90 all right these are some of the guns they're like old lint gun pistols that I'll be drawing uh, and I guess I can just do like quick you know some quick design here so let's just model out something real quick Really don't want to spend any time modeling. Like I said, I mostly want to be mostly want to be just drawing. So I'm just doing just for like a reference point. It's gonna be like some crude PlayStation graphics here. You know, all I'm doing is just have a cylinder, rotating it, extruding it. This is just to have a reference. 41 seconds. Look, I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I think I'll just go straight to, to the drawing. I just wanted to see. That's one, and then maybe I can do another one. And this, and this one will just, uh, oops. All right. So, once again, this is not gonna be a perfect model here. 
When we'll go into the concepting stage, I'm not gonna spend 30 minutes. At most, five more minutes. All right, so at most five more minutes, let me just set up these, just a pistol and then one of these like longer pistols. So I'm selecting all of it. Should have just pressed A, uh, shift S, make it thicker. Um, and then I'm going to select line mode. I'm really just gonna select these uh, these loops, so then I can adjust the gun, shrink it down, select these loops, grab the gun, shrink it down. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. This is it. it took me. Uh, this is all I really want. Um, I'm going to add the tune shader to these dudes. Uh, I'm going to add in a light. I'm going to move my reference. Maybe off to the side here, just so I can always see it. Uh, and I'll add in a uh, sun. Rotating the sun, making it brighter. Maybe even uh, smoothing out these dudes. And making sure my shader is working correctly. I think it is. I just don't need this. There we go. Uh, and I'll make it so that I can see the see the lines see the the edges and then that's it and then i'm gonna start drawing and we're gonna just have some fun doing some drawings um i think it's here visibility no nope. viewport display and we'll do all edges no wireframe so we'll put it for both wireframe wireframe uh i can see both i'm also gonna make sure that Set origin to the cursor so I get the gun situation here. I can rotate it in different ways. Okay. So let's go back. Let's get rid of this. My hone in. Move these dudes to the top. Uh, also, I'm going to make the background less, less dark, just make it a little brighter for me. There it is. Uh, I'm going to move the sun out the way, just so I don't see that line. Uh, and I will now make a grease pencil object. Oh, I already have one. We'll move that into its own folder. Grease pencil. Uh, and then we'll move our cylinders as our main event over here. We'll start off with the gun. Size it up. It just looks like a banana. To me. But. Just using it. As a reference. And then gotta go to the grease pencil we're gonna start grease pencil I'm gonna make a couple layers there I'm gonna go to draw oh that sucks I can't see my reference while I I take this off I guess that's fine Okay, so I'm also going to use the reference on my desktop so I can, like, see it a lot bigger and more detailed. But you guys get to see what I'm doing here. Great, let me get my pen. Let me, uh... There we 
go. There we go. We got our pen going. Oh, man. Okay. There we go. Making sure all my strokes and all my stuff is correct. Post processing. Smooth. I think we're going to do the active smooth to point 0.2. We're going to bring down our pixels, maybe to 15. Hopefully you guys can still see that. Right? Yeah, I hope so. Great. All right. Got my reference, and we're gonna go to drawing mode. Let's do it. All right, guys, it's really early for me. I hope you can hear that slurping noise <laughs> in HD. Camera's up a little higher, so you can actually see into my cup, which is pretty, pretty interesting. I got a new setup for the tablet it's floating over my keyboard. It's real nice. It's real nice. All right, so let's start. These first uh, ones are not going to look good, guys. Not going to look good at all. But we're going to we're going to feel it out, you know? We're going to feel it out. All right, so we got like this we're going to be doing this one right here. Beep, beep. And then we're going to add in things. We're going to change things. Maybe throw in some mo different elements. Maybe do a sci-fi version. Who knows, you know? So we'll just do a quick... You know, just a quick sketch. These things are real smooth. I wish I knew the exact names of the guns that I have referenced. I bought them off of ArtStation. Like I said, these are not going to be the greatest right now. But we're going to work with what we have. You know, we're just feeling it out. Have a little fun seeing what we can make. Maybe we'll, we'll even color them out huh? so we feel like we... Like we colored, like we did this together, you know. It's cool uh, about these these guns, these flints. What are they called? Flint something. Somebody in the chat, tell me. I know you guys know. <laughs> you know what's cool about these guns uh, is that they they have they have like this fancy ass embroidery on it. <laughs> I, like, I really like it. You know, you know, so it goes in. You know, I gotta remember that this is a cylinder shape. Do, and this is just like a quick sketch going through, adding in some elements. But if anybody's out there in the chat, you know, talk to me. This one's this one's much more of a hangout than a study. I mean, I think I should have. Uh... What am I doing here? I think I should have calibrated my. Ah, I'm drawing these small details. I don't need to draw these small details. So right now we're going to just do a couple of these quick sketches and just go, you know, so things are going to be overlapping each other. This thing is pretty cool. It's like an S. Maybe I should zoom up on this for you get for you to see it. Here we go.
<sighs> anyway, this thing's kind of cool. Now I should really learn the parts, like, I've been learning anatomy, like, all week. I'm, like, getting really good with all the muscle names and stuff. And it helps out so much to know and memorize the muscle names. Like, so much. I can now construct a semi-ugly, uh, like, muscly body from multiple angles. And it feels good. Maybe that's the same thing with, uh, this... This gun thing I have here. Like... And also, it sucks that I don't have, like, a, a front view. Because I actually don't know when I draw this part. Is this, like, a... <laughs> you know, is this, like, a sight? This probably is, like, a sight. You know, I'm surprised it doesn't have a sight here. But, you know, this gun... Alright. Cool. Next. Sketch one. I'm just gonna lower the opacity and we're gonna draw over it. I'm gonna do it again. And I'm still figuring out my settings here for, uh, and I'm still warming up, but I'm still trying to figure out my settings here for what 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 I like about this. Like, should I have no active smoothing on? What do you guys usually do? Should I make this thicker? Let me bring this in. Alright. So from this, it looks like this has a bit of a base to it. Like it's like supposed to probably counterbalance the weight of the gun. And for right now, I'm going to see if holding shift at all helps me. Okay, so instead of holding shift, I'm just going to put stabilize, but I'm going to lower it down to 10 and 0.5, just so it's uh, slightly smoother. Also, I forgot to make sure that I have auto lock in active layer, so I'm not like messing with any other layers. Also, this active smooth here, it really changes the, the look after, or this post, is it post smooth? Let's change to post. There, I turned it off. Okay. Alright, so this... It's gonna have more of a cylinder. So we're gonna go... Right now I have a... Stabilize. Which is pretty good. And this goes out more like this. Once again, I'm not trying to do the exact thing here. I'm just trying to do something similar to it. These guns are pretty fun. These muskets. Alright. Still a little crooked. We have the site here. I'm going to do a third round. These are just the warm up guys. This is such an interesting, uh, I guess, trigger. <laughs> there we go. Great, so from obviously number one to number two, smoothing out. Let's try, let's try a different method here for number three. So let's lower the opacity. And let's start using some tools. We'll do uh, as a shift space. 
we'll do the curve tool and we'll see if we can just curve things out make it make it real smooth make it too smooth for comfort and we'll do it right we'll stop it right where it needs to go straight so we'll curve it out We will extend, we'll hold shift. <clears throat> so that's good. And I think we'll just keep that straight. Uh, we will curve out for the barrel. So all I'm doing is pressing E when you do this curve tool, which works pretty well. Unfortunately, I cannot see very well here. So let me see if I can, if I can smooth this out. Also, can I, I can't zoom in while I'm doing this, can I? I cannot. That's that's unfortunate. <laughs> All right. Um, and then I'll do a little straight here. So we got our our barrel. Um, and for this I'm gonna hit uh, I'm gonna hit enter. So we're gonna use the curve tool again. The curve tool is here on the, on this left side here. This curve tool. Uh, and maybe, maybe I'll put the screencast keys. We'll see how much they bother me. But. I'm just going to use the curve tool to draw, guys. We can always, we can always edit this. I make a straight line across. I hold shift. Move these, move these guys out to where I think it's curved. Usually to make something completely like a nice even roundness. You bring these like two dots right underneath the yellow ones. Or above it. And it kind of makes a nice plump curve. Looking from at the reference, uh, you can't see it too well, but it does look like it has like a ball shape at the the end. So let's we'll see if we can try and simulate that with the curve. We'll move it here. Well, we just extrude. Nope, that didn't turn out too well. And I, I think I can undo. No, I can't undo. Can I hit backspace? Let's see. Adjust numbers. All the, yeah, so once you make a decision here in this curve tool, I think you're pretty set, huh? So we're going to do the same. It stops around here. And we'll... Uh, I'm basically stopping it right where I think the curve ends and stuff. Uh, there's a bit of detail here where it like moves up. So I'm going to try and simulate that. So I'm holding shift. Uh, and I'm just making a straight line across now to where I think so right below maybe like right below here so we'll curve that out extrude it and then right over here we're gonna cut into it so we're gonna I'm not following my sketch that's okay sometimes you don't follow the sketch follow your heart All right, cool. So we're getting getting this gun down here. This this beautiful curve tool that's working out, I think, pretty well for us. Um, and let's see, goes all the way across. Like I said, I'm not following my sketch anymore. I'm just gonna do it all the way across. And it looks like we do a nice little curvy curvy over here. So we'll bring. We'll extrude it down over here. A little curvy curve. Make it all fancy like. We'll extrude it out. I don't have room for what, what I thought I was going to do. There you go. This goes out now. It's pretty cool. And then we're just going to end it going off the top here. So we'll bring it out down a little further. We'll bring it back up. Curve it out. 
and then we'll end it going back onto uh, onto the gun barrel here, and I guess we'll hit it. So I think let's take the sketch underneath it out. So we're going good here. I'm gonna fix some of this stuff. Let's use the sculpt tool. A very good tool for the grease pencil. As you can just um, I I make sure to select the line mode over here. And I select the line. Because then my sculpt tool will only affect that. We'll do a push. Hit F. We can sculpt this out a little better. I guess I got a smooth tool, right? Smooth. Can I smooth this out? Nice. So I'm just going to smooth out some of these areas that I think need a little bit of smoothing. Cannot sculpt. Am I like... Am I animation playing? Jeez. Okay. Okay. I think... I think this is good. I think, though... I like my metal piece to stick out a little more. So let's do that. So let's select this metal piece. And I essentially want these guys. So I'm gonna select box select. I want these guys to stick out just a tad more. Let's see if I, it'll look ugly. I'm grabbing, oh, I'm gonna go to edit mode, edit. Grab. There you go. So, looks like a metal piece that's like sticking out or something. Ooh, which I think is pretty cool. I think we're gonna keep going with this, uh, and then just keep iterating on it. Uh, the barrel's a little thick, but it has all these little fancy embroideries that are fun. But, mm, excuse me. So, right now. I think I'm going to set some preliminary colors. So let's set some colors. And we're going to do this not with vertex colors, normal colors. Oops. Uh, let's just make them now. We'll call this one wood. Morning, Evelyn. Good to see you. <laughs> How are you doing today? Are you at work? You working today? Or are you off today? I forget all the time. So let's set uh, wood. Let's make another material, call it metal. And we can obviously change these colors. They're not going to be these colors. Change the material, change this to a much brighter color. Well, thanks for being here. How's work going? How are you, how are you today on Wednesday? How's work? Oh, okay. Let's see. So we are on wood and metal. So I got two colors going. And my two, I'm going to do, name my layers, you know, lines. And, you know, fill for now. Bull. Fill. Okay. Break time, busy on hump day. Oh, yeah. Busy, huh? Well, I'm glad. Well, your day should go by pretty quick, right? If it's busy. I mean, I hope it does. Okay, so we're going to fill out these colors. Luckily, these are all cut. We change the color up here. Change it to wood. Um, 
Okay, and I think we need to change our lines color. So I'm going to change it to black for now. So what I'm going to do is... I think it's... Since I use vertex colors, unfortunately, I have to, like, color it this way. But I might just change its material. Oops. Stroke. There we go. All right, and I think I think I'm gonna make another material. We're gonna call it outline. What time do you get off today, Evelyn? Evelyn. Evelyn. It must be funny hearing me call you Evelyn. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we're going to call this outline, uh, and then we're going to select the material, the, the lines. We'll go to edit mode, select them all, and then I'm going to hit mm, assign, right? So now I should be able to just change this outline color. Well, I should have been able to. I don't know what what is happening here. This should have been... Can I no longer? Is it because it has? Hold on. I may know how to fix this. Go to stroke. Does it have like some sort of vertex? It has some colors, right? That I can erase. I think so. Let's go to stroke. And look for where this vertex color is. If you guys know, they're definitely... It's definitely here somewhere. Transform motions. Well, maybe not definitely here. But like. Oh, vertex groups. Oh, strokes. I thought it would be in vertex groups. So. I'm kind of wrong here. Four thirty. Very nice that's a nice time to get off get you can beat traffic right that five o'clock rush hour <laughs> uh anyway i'm trying to figure out If I can assign a different material onto these guys, I thought I could. Right, if I go to edit, select, let's do alt eight, select. It knows it's that, and I hit assign. It should change its outline color. Doesn't seem to be working. This may work for the better, though, for us. Like, if I hit fill... Oh, it works with fill. But it doesn't change my outline color. I am on rendered mode. Mm. It's very peculiar why I can't do this. We'll be taking a break there in, in one minute. So. Guess I'll have to figure that afterwards. I'll probably have to move on. I can't just keep spending time. I just got to make sure I don't make that mistake again. Using the vertex colors. But that sucks. Because is it this? Oh no, it knows it's this. It knows it's this. So if I got rid of, so if it knows it's that, and I tinted it a different color, anyway, this may work out for the better, guys. I just think it sucks. 
I, I don't know how to like <laughs> make it so it just is affected by the material. Okay. We'll take a break. Uh, and I'm going to check my streams, make sure everything's going okay. Break time. All right, let me make sure my streams are all going okay. I'm, I'm right now streaming both on Twitch and on, uh, oh, you can hear me. Okay, yeah, I'm streaming on Twitch and on um, YouTube, so I'm just trying making sure man twitch has like almost has like such a little has such little delay it's kind of cool so twitch seems to be going good let me check out my youtube and uh four of you guys are watching so if you guys are just joining in i'm just gonna i'm making uh some props i'm making a gun design uh just for fun i've been you know practicing my anatomy for like five days straight now and i didn't want to do it on the stream today even though today was the day I designated for it, I ended up just doing it all week. So I'm doing something a little bit more fun. Uh, and unfortunately, my YouTube quality is poor. So let me know on YouTube, guys, if you guys are doing okay. Because it looks like it's saying it's poor. Let's see. I wonder if I can't stream in two places at once. Go into the live stream. Okay? It looks like it's doing all right. I'm at 1080p. I wonder if I can't stream in two places at once. Okay. Two people are watching. Oh. All right, everything seems to be good, guys. How's everybody doing? I'm doing all right. Uh, I'm not gonna take this full break. I think I'm gonna stop at five minutes and we're just gonna keep going. I'm pretty excited to continue on building out this gun and uh, just feeling it out. We'll change things along the way. I like, I, li I like, I like just messing around today. Today, just the mess around day. <laughs> You can hear the train in the background. That's just what I'm listening to to relax. Rain and train. Here in California, it doesn't rain often. And I come from a place that rains all the time. So I kind of miss it. I kind of miss the rain. And I guess I miss trains too. I'm just kidding. I live like right next to a train, which is pretty nice. You hear like the horn in the distance at night. <laughs> That's not what a train sounds like. Uh, anyway, so I guess I'll just talk. These are the gun references that I have. Uh, I'm just having some t fun building out some guns, feeling it out, seeing what, what I can make and build as uh, we continue. I'm going to add in some, some, some nuanced stuff. By nuance, I guess I just mean detail. Evelyn says it's raining there. I miss it. I miss the rain. I want it to rain here. I want it to rain every day. The difference here, the difference between it raining in California, right, and the, it raining, like, let's say, in Florida, is that in Florida, there's, like, ditches everywhere. Uh, and, uh, you know, all the, I guess the, Florida's built to have the water, a lot of water come down, and then, like, it funnel out. So, like, if it rains like that in California, California's not built for that type of rain. So, like, destruction happens. Like, the roads look like waterfalls of, like, water. People don't know how to drive. They're just going all over the place. We have, like, hills and mountains. Everything's uh, ugly. There's things that are not, we're not waterproof because it rains so little here that they forgot to waterproof it. So, you know, I get why it doesn't rain here all the time. It's a desert, and the city's not built for it. <laughs> but, but I do miss the rain. It doesn't stop from me missing the rain. Uh, okay. I think we're going to stop it 
here and we're gonna we're gonna keep on we're gonna keep on going I wish I can find out where the vertex groups the strokes for these layers are at Because I would like to make it so it's affected by the the material. Anyway, let's go back. Back to the beginning. I'm just kidding. Here we go. Okay, we're back. Um, and we're going to continue. Can't figure out why I can't make this material affect the outline like I want it to but I'm just gonna have to move on with my life and figure and just use the tint it's really not that big of a deal I just don't, I like the you know I like the control that I have so yeah anyway let's go to edit mode let's try hitting assigning again please work Let's see what we can do if it's thinner. We'll do Alt S. So we got a nice little thin line, which is interesting. And we can, of course, make it much thicker. Make it look like a goddamn clip art. Y'all remember clip art? Microsoft Word. Back in my day. So anyway, we're making this thinner. Which is pretty cool. Uh, and we're going to fix some, uh, some, uh, some, some lines here that are not good. So when we go to edit mode and we'll go press one, we see that this guy doesn't make it to the end. He needs to make it. Not that far though. Uh, anyway, so we got that line closed up there. Uh, that ended up looking okay. I think that's it actually. Uh, what I did want to fix is go to line mode. I'm going to go to sculpt. I'm going to see if I can sculpt. Oh shoot, we're going to do the push, and we're going to sculpt, and we're not going to do, and we're going to do both, so we're going to make sure everything's unlocked, so unlock layers, and we're going to see if we can sculpt in kind of like a, a bit of a handle here. Cause like in the in the reference, right, it has like a little, little ball shape, little egg, a little eggy at the end there, right? So, you know, that's what we'll do. Maybe that's too much. All right, we'll go back to draw mode. And, uh, you know, that's looking all right. It's looking all right. So, let's keep going. It looks like this gun, it gets like narrower <laughs> as it goes along. Maybe, let's try and fix that now. I may not may not work it may not be may not work too well here the way that I want to do it or the way that I think it should work so let's go to sculpt mode holding tab uh, control tab you can change two modes you bring up the pie menu go to sculpt uh, I have these modes here and I think I want pinch and we're gonna see how pinch works Oh, boom. I think that works. And I think that looks a little better. It's not even, so let's let's go back and see if we could do it evenly. I'm going to hit F. And I'm just going to do it on one spot. And then maybe what I'll do also is let's see if I have options on my, my tool here. Do I have a fall off? I do have a fall off. We're going to do... I think a smooth fall off is probably the best. Or maybe sphere. Let's try sphere first. A uh, sphere. A sphere. Anyway, so I made the the pinch tool really big because I'm trying to make it taper off. Right? So we're just going to do it in one spot to keep it even. And we'll do it right in the center here. And we'll cl click a couple times. One. But let's see if I click and hold. Nothing happens. And we can make it like a tiny little gun. 
<laughs> we can we, we can make it shoot little bullets. Okay, I'm just kidding. So, let's let's just do it a couple times, and I think I should do it. Uh, so since the fall off is a sphere, and the pinch, the most the most influence is the center of the sphere, so it's where the mouse is. So let's try a couple different fall offs. Let's try here, and let's make it so it reaches to where I want the taper to start. From where the mouse is. That's actually the biggest I can do it. Uh, so I'll click a couple times. One, two, three, four. And I think... I think that works. For right now. You know, it kind of taper, tapers in and stuff. So that's cool. Uh, what if I wanted to make it longer? It would be easy to make it longer, or would this be like a whole pain? Let's figure it out. Let's grab it. Catch you on Saturday. Bye. Enjoy your day. Evelyn, I'll see you Saturday. I'll see you. Thank you for joining. Uh, I definitely can make it a little bigger here. Just by stretching out the, the little nostril. I think that that works for me. The thing I don't like about this right now, in this very moment, is how how curved this bottom is. So let's see if I can if I can fix that in an easy way. And I say easy because I'm I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be harder. So so I'm gonna use box select. I'm gonna select all the points that I think I need affecting. So yep, those are good. I'm affecting too many points here, so I'm holding control shift. Nope, is it control? Yeah, to deselect the ones I don't want. And then I'm gonna hit uh, S, and I'm gonna put zero, and then I'm gonna put Y. No, a Z, and then zero. Let's see what that looks like. So, I did straighten it out. I mean, it looks like this whole top half is like not good. It's fine. We are uh, we're gonna keep going. <laughs> okay, so let's build out this. Uh, I guess this trigger here, and maybe we can do it a different way. So we got the fills down here, which is good. We got our lines. Uh, so we'll continue building. We're going to make another layer, actually. And I wish I knew what this called. I think it's called the hammer. We're going to call it hammer. I think it's called hammer. Maybe not. Uh, and this looks like an S shape, right? Like like this fancy looking ass S, sh S shape or whatever. So... Uh, maybe... Maybe I'll just take it right from here. So let's go to our draw mode. And let's use our curve tool, which I really like. Uh, I'm going to make a line across. Right. Oh, shoot. Okay, so let's exit out of this. I'm going to make my reference. Uh, my reference file. I'm going to make it go a little further back. Uh, I'm going to make sure that it only appears uh, from the front. And then I'm also going to add some transparency so I can see my lines when I'm going over. Okay, forgot to do all that. All right, let's see if we could just take this line, this line work here. And we're going to just go back to my stroke, go to edit mode, draw. We'll choose the curves. Uh, I don't want that color, and that's because this outline is this color. So we'll go to surface stroke, make sure it's black. I like to zero out everything. Okay, great. And then we're just we. Now I can't see it. Okay. Um, we'll make it white, just for now. I guess I can't see it while it's black. Anyway, so we'll make a line across. To make a perfect circle, you get the blue lines, and you just put them over where the yellow is at. 
and you bring it down to where it makes sense. Uh, you press E to extrude. You'll do like a line across. You do the same thing. Curve tool is very powerful. I use it all the time in um, in uh, Photoshop. The pen tool is what I use. So I think I made this line too thick. So let's start over real quick. <laughs> okay. So let's make this a lot thinner. We'll do radius 10. Okay. Make this back to white. We'll do this quickly. Uh, we'll do radius 5. We can always fix the radius later, guys. So it really doesn't matter. Alright. So anyway, to do this, you do half circle bring it out start start building out this, this little s shape here you can always fix it later this is just like a quick press e go to where the curve ends and do the same you move the lines go to where the curve ends right about there maybe curve it a little bit maybe not so same we're around where the curve ends you're just really eyeballing most of this bring it out extrude it out curve tool is amazing uh, we're gonna see about doing going across here this has a bit of a sharper incline we'll go where the curve ends Keep on going. We're going to have to fix this afterwards. Go across. Yeah, I already see we need to fix this, but it's okay. Well, I'll, I'll leave a little space for it to connect, and we'll do the same. Uh, and I'll hit enter. Okay. So obviously we'll make this dark. Well, actually we'll keep it white for now. And then we're gonna we're gonna clean it up. We're gonna clean it up. We're gonna go to edit mode. Uh, and then we will. I think we're gonna hit F. Can we finish that? Okay. I hit F and it kind of completes the shape there. And I'm gonna go to sculpt. We're just going to move it around a little bit. Uh, and then we're going to go to edit and hit stroke smooth points. And we're going to do it like 20 times, 50 times. We're just really going to smooth that, that's, that thing out. Select it all. And then we're going to bring it over. Let's see how that works for us. Oh my god. Anyway, edit mode, select, oh my god. Edit, select, grab, make it large. Rotate it. There we go. Oh, oh man, I like connected these lines. That's not good. <laughs> not so good at all. <laughs> um, uh, shoot. I see if I can undo. Can I undo that far? I can't undo that far. Okay. So we're just going to have to delete all this. Points, deletes. Delete. We're gonna have to fix these lines. I 
All I'm doing is selecting in the middle, hitting Control Plus, going all the way across. Hit X, do our points. There we go. Make sure the lines aren't interfering here. Same on this end. X, X. And then we're going to extrude this puppy so it matches. And, uh,. Oh, I just realized this whole thing's messed up. <gasps> no. Let's see if we have, um, I'm going to save this. Let's see if we have, like, a, a save here that we can. Cover auto save. Wow. Well, that's that sucks. Fuck. So while I was making this like edge thing here, I definitely messed up my whole my whole shtick I'm having. How unfortunate. God dang it. Alright, we're just gonna have to work with this. Let's 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 work with this. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can just make this bottom straight, and then we're going to see if we can extract the outline. I definitely messed this up. I messed it up. So we will do not do the lines, we will do the fill. Oh man, I have messed this up. So we're going to separate these selected points. We're actually going to move it to a new layer. So we just have this. Okay, we're going to erase our lines. We're going to bring back... Our lines here. We'll go to edit mode. Um, and I'm going to select all these bottom, this bottom half here. Let's see if I... See if I can straighten it out. There we go. select these points here go to sculpt mode and see if I can sculpt it out to look a little better make sure that we have our point selected hit F points
We're going to bring them up. There we go. I think we're, I think we're salvage, salvaging this. Uh, and then I'm going to draw over it. <laughs> so we got our gun points here. Thought we had our hammer. Metal. Wood. Line. Okay. Let's go back to drawing. And we're gonna we're gonna shift gears. We're not gonna use that that tool. We kind of have the basis of what we want here. Um, and for this wood, can we bring it above? Yes, I think that's a good idea. And for the wood, I think if we want to sculpt mode... I think, actually, edit mode, we could do something cool where we could uh, select the top. Just the top. Uh, we bring it up. But let's also get some of these guys right here. We'll bring it up. So it's actually covering the barrel. Uh, and we will select these guys as well. No. Now we'll go to sculpt. So we're going to go to sculpt mode. Select our, our lines here that we want. Want to affect. Ah, mostly these right here. Uh, and we'll, we'll start pushing. Let's see if that, that helps us. Uh, we'll do pinch, but we'll do the reverse, right? So it'll make them thicker. Yeah, there you go. And then we'll go back to pushing. Or, no, push. We'll go back into... Oopsies. We'll go to sculpt. And I'll take the overlay off so I can see where we're at. Okay, and then... I think we should push these. Also, with the push, this is push, right? No, let's grab push. Uh, I'm gonna change the, yeah, the the overlay to or the fall off to smooth. And we're just gonna we're just gonna cover this up. I hold I held shift, holding shift to smooth things out. So that's what I just did there. That's how I smoothed that out. So if I hold if I take this off and I hit hold shift, I can smooth out these points there too. Um, actually, what I like to do also is to flatten this this end here. So let's flatten this just a little bit. Go to push. I'm just gonna. Boop. Push it a little flatter. Go to the overlay. There we go. Okay. I think I salvaged the gun for the most part. Because I messed up the line work. That's okay. I think we're getting I think we're getting places now. Bring back our overlay. We have our bottom, our, our wood color, our metal color, um, or just separation. These are just segments, really. Uh, we'll go back to draw mode. Uh, I'm going to choose the pencil, choose outline, outline some white. We're going to make it black, make sure it has no color. Also, I'm a little cold. So I'm going to, not even cold, just just need an extra layer here guys okay my panic is done I salvaged what I needed to salvage I got five minutes to do the more interesting stuff I also got a blanket here guys 
feel real snug. I like to be comfortable when I do my <laughs> my work. Okay. Okay. So let's keep going. I have my my tool here. Okay. I'm on the outline. It's real thin. Let's change this color to dun dun dun, dun black. Let me uh, change some preferences here on my. There we go. Now let's see if we can draw over this in a cool way. Stabilize. 30 pixels. Go. Let's see if we could just draw over this. And we're on our own line layer, right? Yes. And we can get back our outline. And I'm not going to use this outline. This outline is going to be a different color. Also, I'm using stabilized stroke, and it's pretty interesting. We're actually just good. Let's see what, what it looks like with just the. Oh my god, this is so weird. I guess you're like getting closer. Looks like the opacity is on, but I definitely. It's so weird that I'm gonna be. Is it this? Hold on. Let me go to stabilize stroke. I'm gonna put the factor up to seven. Is that why it's like all jittery? That's probably why. Oh man, I am overly fidgety about this. Let me just do it. Just do it, Wes. Let me do it without the stabilization. See how I feel about that. Fix it afterwards. <laughs> All right, look at the, look at those wobbly edges, guys. Um. Let's see if I can use the tools at my disposal here to fix it. 
We'll use smooth strokes. Or is there a better way to do this? No, yeah, let's just do smooth strokes by a ton. <laughs> it looks so janky. Spitfire, this monkey, oh, this monkey loves the grease. <laughs> Spitfire, how's it going? Good to see you today. I'm just about to go into a break. I was doing a, I was drawing a gun. Then I messed up my line work, so now I'm like chasing over it. It's pretty, it's pretty brutal this morning for me. We're going to do it again, though. Okay, let's go to a break. Break time. Oh, man. Good to see you once again, Spitfire. It's, uh, it's an early morning here for me. Been practicing a lot of uh, anatomy uh, this whole week. This whole week, I've just been doing muscles. I know all the muscles, the deltoids and the japrises, the medial head, the anterior head, the posterior. We got lats. We got the dorsi, the lateral dorsi, the brachialis radialis. Some fun stuff. It actually helps out so much to know the muscles. <laughs> oh, man. The Victorious Major. Rectus Abdominis. Oh, man. The, the exter external obliques. Okay, I'm done. But I've been having been having a ball doing, um, doing animations and stuff. Not animations. What am I talking about? been doing anatomy and drawing it so it's been it's been it's been a lot of fun so today i've been taking it easy just doing like um just doing some sketches for some from different guns i found <laughs> doing some quick sketching seeing if i can make a fun cartoony sketch <laughs> my idealization version of this is that i'll, I'll draw it from the side color it do it from a different angle but since i messed up the line work and i've been screwing up a bunch of like amateur mistakes i've been making i feel like i'm a little bit pushed back now but seems like it's going fine <laughs> how's it going with you how's how tis the life of the spitfire of the storyboards of the spitfire storyboards I've had a lot of coffee too, I'm sorry. While I wait for your response, no pressure. I'll check out my my stream, make sure it's going okay. I'm shooting from two places, so I kinda you know just gotta make sure that the stream cause like last time my stream messed up, so I mean, it says my connection is poor, but it seems to be fine for right now. So I hope that, uh, you know, it's going. Let's check on Twitch real quick. We got one person on Twitch watching. That's. Exciting. All right. Okay. Big project. Uh, oh, decent. Thanks. Almost done on the big projects. I've been doing some wrap ups and mini projects, etc. Taking the task off. That's great. Happy to hear. It always feels good when you feel like you have a mountain of work and you climbed some of the way there and you're like you know what it wasn't too bad i mean maybe it was bad but it wasn't too bad you know i should have just climbed this mountain earlier um uh, just projecting now that's just me uh yeah but it's good it's good going through the through, through the project it's um uh, making some progress i've been feeling the same i've been feeling the same you know especially when it comes to like my drawing education and teaching myself and all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, 
it's good to hear. Very good to hear. I'm not going to take these full five minutes, guys. Because I'm just... I just want to keep going on this drawing here. Uh, so in about a minute, I'm going to go right back into it. Let's see... If I can keep going. If I can figure out my workflow here. Figure out what I can do. Cleansing the palette. Yes. You, you're like releasing those chakras. You know, you open up that third eye. You know, you're, you're drinking the green tea. Drinking ginseng. <laughs> Open it up, your spiritual channels. Your no, your Spitfire storyboard channels. Just flourishing it. Just... <laughs> Alright. Let's see if we can continue stumbling our way through making this gun. As I embarrassingly show myself, show all my flaws on out on live display. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is what I'm doing. Ooh. Okay, so my line work messed up, obviously. Uh, and uh, I can draw over it. Or I can use the curve tool. But want to be... I don't know. I just feel like I should draw over it. Despite if, if it matches up with my, my fills. You know, we'll do some like sketchy stuff. So it's like this is this is my style. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so let's make a different material. We'll make a metal, but we'll make it uh, we'll make it dark, right? So we'll do metal, uh, and we'll call this dark. Right now, I'm just using a black. Not black. I'm using uh, what is it? Two black and white. I'm using two monochrome, monochrome black and white colors. But we'll obviously change this later. That's why I'm not using vertex colors this time around. Usually that's how I work. I use the vertex colors, but this time around, I think I wanna, I wanna steer away from that and see if I can get back to using materials. I've explored vertex colors. I like them. And they're good for certain instances. Okay, let's escape out of that. Uh, let's choose... Where's my material that I just made? Metal dark. Oh, I'm on it. Okay. What? Oh, I'm locked? No. Metal dark. There you go. So, let's make a circle... Hit enter. Uh, and let's start playing with these shapes. We'll go to edit mode. Also, what am I doing here? I should have put this on a different different layer. So we'll get that. Uh, oh, it is on a different layer. So that's good. So looking from the reference, it looks kind of small. So we'll put it right where I think it's supposed to go. <laughs> There we go. And then to build on that shape, go back to edit mode. Let's see if I could do this this shape. Oh, nope. Let's see if I could draw this shape without needing to, like, use a tool or something. Been still figuring out my settings for, uh, for my pen. Uh, it's... It's been a it's been a journey since I, I I switched between Photoshop and and Blender, and they require different uh, settings, and I'm just figuring out a setting that's gonna work for both of them. All right, so I see this S curve here. Let's practice it. There we go. So we'll just do it together. There we go. Maybe maybe I'll hold Shift. No. 
let's let's Okay, what I don't want is that that del that what I'm setting right now is my stabilization, but only if I'm like holding shift. Just want to make sure that I don't know, it's like worth it or something. I do want to use it every now and then. Maybe like 0.7. No, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe it should just be, you know. The smallest amount, 0.5. Okay, so let's 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 practice this shape. It's just an S shape, right? I think that'll be cool if I just woo, do it real quick, right? Let's see if I can get it right the first thousandth time. So we'll go back. Uh, we will zoom out a bit. Just so I can see it in frame, let me take away this tool and see if I can make my S. And the S curve starts right at the top. So let's go. I'm going to make this darker just so I can see it. And then we'll make it we'll make it bright again you know what it doesn't have to be exactly the same I just have to get something similar to it oh man and then if I spend too much time on this I will just accept the next best one. So let's. This has to be thin at the top here. So let me let me set up what I'm working for first, and then we'll connect it. There we go. This is much better. Build out the shapes. There we go. We also have this cool little flicky thing here. It's the official gun term for this flicky thing. Let's let's hold the shift now. Let's see if that that helps me. It did help me. Let's uh, build a little cylinder here. I guess we have like a little rag here. What is this? I don't know, but we'll definitely put like a screw thing here, something there. Okay. Alright, uh, another thing that I like to add is, uh, there's, there's a metal piece here, right, so let's, let's add that. the materials we're gonna make another material here we're gonna add a mask onto this one and we're gonna do it onto the wood uh, I'm gonna choose a different color the metal color and now I can just draw on this so maybe let's 
<laughs> I should probably. Is there a way to make it? I'm gonna make a straight line. We'll make a box. There you go. That works out a little better. Um, actually, let's make a box, but it doesn't go all the way. Again, doesn't have to be exact. And then I'll go back to my pen. Let's see if we can smooth it out with something here. That's probably fine. Alright, another thing is maybe adding the part here that's metal. Let's see. This metal looks a little bright to me, but... We can definitely fix that later. Like right now. <laughs> fix it later. Let's just make it a little darker. Uh, I wonder if it'll be nice if we change the background color to something nice. Let's see. Maybe like a nice blue color. Just for now purple color okay so then we can make our materials darker and not feel like I'm messing anything up okay cool uh let's go back up Decor. And we'll keep we'll keep on going. Keep on drawing. So for this, we're gonna draw the the, the trigger area. Um I think I'll use the curve tool this time. We're gonna make another material or layer I mean, and we're gonna put it beneath the wood. We'll call this trigger. Um, and we will, oh shoot, oh shoot, we will make a solid stroke and we'll see about making a trigger that makes sense, pressing E. Hit enter. We will rotate this. We'll also smooth it out. That's the power. I like that. Smooth it out. Make it bigger. Make it thinner. Also, did my screencast keys go away? There we go. We'll make it thinner. Maybe duplicate it. Make that thinner. Rotate it. Oh shoot, hold on a second. Okay. Grab it. Gosh darn it. back to our stroke and I'm just doing a placement here I'm not really committed to any of these decisions Oh, 
Also, this dark, this this color is a little dark, right? There you go. Actually, it should probably be the metal color. So let's select all, assign, nope. We will do metal, duplicate it, call it an outline. I'll be quiet for a while. Calls to do. No problem, Spitfire. Do your thing. Thanks for being here. <laughs> I'll be quiet. <laughs> okay, so. Oh my goodness. There you go. So we got the metal pieces going. Alright, I want to keep adding in these really dark pieces to really start shaping out what this might look like. So we'll do dark metal. Um, we've got the pen. And this is mostly just to, to have fun now. Now that we have kind of like a basis going on. Um, let's see what we can do here. I would like to maybe I can make the design on the gun <laughs> make them on the barrel I'm very tempted always to use like those tools and stuff mostly because I'm in a vector program so it's like I'm just playing around. Oh, am I like... Is there something happening here? Alright, let's just start having a little bit more fun. Let's change some of this these colors. So, metal dark, we'll go to our fill, um, I'm going to pick one of these, these palettes here, palette with a brown, obviously there's much more palettes. But I like to have fun with my colors. Let's do Let's go, let's go, let's go to a website guys. Let's go to Color Co. And we'll figure out a color palette. Alright, let's do brown, right? Let's, let's search for a brown color palette here. Alright, so let's work with with this one on the left there. So we'll get this color. We copied it. We'll get the hex. Wrong piece. Wrong piece. We have to get the wood color. And then change the hex. Let's do this one. There we go. We'll change the light part of the gun the metal to like a color all right we'll change this dark metal to a brown color um and i already don't like this so let's keep going 
How about this one? So we'll do wood, brown. Did that even change? Alright. We'll make the metal an actual white. And we'll give it some. We're gonna make a different material. But we'll make this one with, uh. You know, green. And we'll use that as like a motif. So for the metal outlines, we will choose this color. It's a little bright, honestly, but that's fine. This color. Okay, I think we've we got a, a decent color palette uh, that we can play with. Let's see if. Oh my god, hold on guys. Ugh. Let's see if we can have some fun. Um, let's get rid of this banana up here. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if we can lower the opacity for all of it. I don't think we can, right? I'm gonna erase the sketches. I'm gonna save. Erase this hammer here. Let's switch gears and not switch gears, but let's just let's just put this at like half opacity or whatever this opacity. I guess I have to do them all one by one. Let's make a separate grease pencil. Grease pencil blank. Do new layer for the materials. We already have them made. Let's do an outline. Let's go to draw mode. Uh, and I guess this is not right in 3D space here. So we will get the stroke. We we'll grab this one, bring it back a little bit. Now we can draw above it. Like, I like the gun, right? But I simplified its shapes. So now I'm trying to figure out if I can draw them in some different angles. So, oh, forgot what to do. One more thing. We're going to bring this and we're going to bring it down. Here, get the grease pencil, go to draw mode. All right, let's take off. Took off the uh, pen pressure. We're just gonna see if we can. And sketch this out. Let's 
the hammer on both sides, you think? Probably on one side, right? So, like, it would just be like... sure that my it's on a stroke I can erase this we're just gonna go we're gonna practice some drawing now guys this is where it gets kind of brutal I'm a lot, my drawings come out a lot better in Photoshop because it's a raster software instead of a vector software with vector it feels just a little bit different you know I'm not gonna say it's It's like terrible. It's definitely like definitely a different uh, drawing experience, you know. Bring it back my reference. This is what the you use these references for. Oh my god, my edit. Where's my draw mode? Object. There you go. Draw. Okay. Really? I can't draw over this object? Hold on. Grab it on the Z. Make it bigger. But grab it on the Z. <laughs> Looks kind of funny, right? Looks a little sus. Maybe this doesn't help me. Right. Sometimes you just gotta, you gotta take it easy. Right now I'm just playing with different shapes, seeing if I can, I don't know, add something that's interesting. I'm not looking at my reference, I should though. What do these other guns have? Any flare? They usually just have like some embroidery on it. Usually at the, the handles. 
some designs on the muzzle, the hammer. Nothing, nothing too fancy. Sculpt mode. Let's see if we can. Oh man, I was just getting there. All right, this next. Okay, so we're gonna take a break, but I think I'm liking where this is going. So let's take a break. Oh man. I'm almost transparent. You can see through me. Anyway, how's everybody doing? I hope y'all doing well. So, I guess to, to recap, guys, I was just drawing a gun. First, I used it as, a, as like a vector base just to, to test it out, make it see if it looks good. But now, uh, you know, I wish uh, these streams are longer because this will be my last 30 minute session before I have to go back to or I have to go to work. But. This next 30 minutes, I'm just going to just draw the gun at different angles and different views like I am here uh, until it turns good. You just got to repeat, rinse and repeat, keep doing it. Uh, understand what I, I guess what I understand that is that I'm working with cylinders, mostly cylinders, like long cylinders, twisting them around. Uh, this gun looks like regal as fuck, man. Anyway, so... We are, yeah, so this looks good, and we'll keep going, we'll, we'll keep going, I'm only going to take, you know, five minutes, and then we'll, we'll finish the 30 minutes here, and then we'll, on Saturday, I'll do something else, and just keep, keep drawing, got to keep the juices flowing, the juices going, so... It sucks because like now I just feel like I'm warmed up, just now, at my last leg of this this stream. Uh, I like to do these morning streams though. It's nice to wake up at like six thirty in the morning and like get some work done. Um, and you know get that practice in. The more you practice, the better you get. And, you know proper practice. So that's what I've been doing, rowing that 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 boat into the ocean, and eventually, if I do it long enough. I'll hit land, right? Right? <laughs> and land being a nice artwork, right? <laughs> oh, man. I'll check my streams. Anybody in the chat out there, you know? Talk to me, man. How you doing? How you feeling? How's life going? Tell me what's up. I got one person on Twitch. Thank you for watching. And then I got, I got, uh, let's see the YouTubes, the YouTubies. And I got three people on YouTube. Thank you for being here guys. My coffee's real cold now. Kind of like it. Why is books is here? How's it going? Hi, hello. Hope you're doing well. Oh, we got a minute and a half going. Nice. You've been improving your animation skills. Good. I'm really happy for that. Keep on going. That's what we're all doing here. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think I might just start this a little early so I can just get some, some more drawing in. Alright, getting some more drawn in. Let's jump 
in. Okay. All right. So let's go. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit, move across. Uh, and an option I'm going to turn on that I think may help, may destroy me, is I'm going to do trim stroke ends. I'm going to do post processing. So what that does is that when I draw my circle, it cuts off the, the edge there. Kind of like connects the the edge and we'll see how that sometimes this ruins things but let's see how it works also it's, is it making my lines more jagged what is this let's put active smooth to point three am i on the right one hold about a second why does it feel all wobbly Oh, I guess I'm good. Maybe I should do pen. Whatever. All right. So first, let me let me use some guide layers, guys. Let me just do that. I'm gonna draw. A box it's not gonna be perfect like to perspective or anything I'm also gonna make my brush a little smaller let's do 15 right Draw little boxes. Go to edit mode. Scale it up. We will draw where this line would be. This line. There, we see through the box. We see through the box there. We'll lower the opacity on this. Just need to be able to see it. We'll make a new layer, and then we'll start drawing in using our guides, our really janky guides. We will we'll draw the pieces one by bit by bit. Right. Obviously, this is a barrel. Should have some lining on here. Right. And you know, you just gotta feel out, guys, for the most part. We know that this thing looks like, has a kind of like a curved edge. And we know we have this wood piece here that I wanna incorporate. So I'm going to remember that there's some depth here. Uh, but I'm gonna bring the wood up. And I think I can use this cut tool and cut this. Nope, cut this. And it works. Cut tool is pretty cool. And we'll just start building out the pieces here. Okay, if I remember, I gotta remember this. So there's a piece on there, it stops, and then it goes out. So, so let's see where we wanna end up. We wanna end up like right here. Let's see where that takes us. 
And it just still looks funny. Probably have to fix that there. And I wonder if I can use the cut tool to cut this line here. Yeah, pretty much works. Great. We'll put the trigger somewhere here. Maybe it should have been a double barrel, right? On my, on my on my on my tablet, I'm drawing like really small. I usually draw really small. It's usually my safe spot. I want to draw bigger, but I don't know. Sometimes muskets. Right now I'm just playing with shapes, figuring out if there'll be anything cool here. Using the cut tool a lot. Cut tool is very good. Maybe add in some like blockier shapes here. This is not on the reference guys, but you know, sometimes, sometimes screw the reference. You know, we'll use the cut tool, cut it there. Start really building out these shapes, figuring out what the hell this is gonna look like. This supposedly kinda has like a a, a sight. it does not pick that up Let's see if we can do it Maybe I should make smaller, smaller drawings. Put some lines in there. Let's see what some of this, this stuff looks like. Looks like flowers and twirls. Comes from a center point, swirls out, and goes in. <laughs> Look okay. You know, we will add in another material. Let's add in you know. Let's see if we could draw this in. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Be 
keep also posting, uh, hopefully my, my stream didn't mess up. Uh, let's add in another, because I saw a flash, uh, and we'll put this on the back. Let me make sure my stream's okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Notes. Nice, my stream is now good. That's, that feels good. Alright, so now I, I set, selected the top left where it draws on back, so I can just draw in, you know, obviously all these wobbly lines and crisscrossy lines, they're not, uh, they're not ideal, you know? But we're just doing, we're just having fun right now. When I make these for real, I don't stream it, <laughs> and I spend a lot more time on these. But this is just to kind of have like a quick, you know, rapid fire art. <laughs> I use Illustrator at the moment, but I'd love to expand to After Effects and something in 3D, actually. Maybe Dimension. I'll know once I'm actually expand from my practice. Yeah, I love After Effects. I, After Effects is the software I started with first, and I think I, I it's a software that I know the most as well. So After Effects is an excellent program. I just used it a lot of for, like, motion graphics and stuff, but you could definitely do some animation stuff in there, too, with, like, you know, puppeteering and stuff like that. Let me see if I can squeeze in one more gun. Oh, my stream is back on YouTube. Well, that's good. Is my stream back on Twitch? I wonder what's happening. Okay. Looks like my streams are back and connected. That's unfortunate. I wonder if I can fix that somehow. <laughs> uh nuggles make jingles actually no i don't i don't have any sort of tutorials on after effects um because it's like what i used to do for my day job for so long that i when i wanted to make a youtube channel and you know you're on twitch i wanted it to be like my artistic journey and my struggles with it you know as i'm like going so i don't don't. I should though. I, I could teach the world my green screen skills <laughs> pretty easily. I got techniques I have developed. I goofed for a second on my end, but it's I right now. Nice. All right, I think my stream is about to, uh, well, my time is almost up. Let me go into break mode. Break time! All right, guys, this is my last, I'm gonna, I am gonna. think I'll use the 10 minutes, maybe squeeze in a couple more drawings and stuff. But, uh, yeah, my stream went down on YouTube, and now it went back up. I really got to check what is happening with youtube and stuff but uh for everybody watching now 
uh, I was just doing some sketches of some guns. Um, I started off with, you know, doing like a vector thing here. Let's see if I can bring this up here. You know, I started off with some vectors just to try it out. Um, but after doing the vectors, I don't know. I like to, I like to draw. I like to, I want to, my whole purpose is to draw things. I have to draw things. So I ended up switching over to doing more sketches. And honestly, I should have probably just started with this, but it was good to understand the form of the gun first. That's why I have these references. Um, and I drew in some guns. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and I think it's, it's gone pretty well. And I think, you know, I'm going to take, I'm going to see if I can squeeze in a couple more. Let me go in here. Let's see if I can squeeze in a couple more. These look pretty fun. I'm having fun now with shapes and I, I was doing it more off the cuff, which is usually a lot better. Once you know, once you understand like the theory, that's why it's good to do your studies and then go from imagination or well, not imagination, but like, you know, basis. So let's see if I can squeeze in a few more in these like eight minutes doing a little extra because I just feel so warmed up and I don't want to go to work. So let's see if I can do a few more. Let me put the screen nice and big. Uh, and we'll keep going. We'll, we'll, we'll draw. Let's draw it a different angle or a different way. We'll draw it kind of like pointing down. And we'll have it taper. Should taper the other way. So this should be probably a lot. I want it to be a lot bigger. That's awesome, dude. Putting yourself out there. Love to see it. It's all about the process. Yes, yes. It was very hard at first to like, you know, show everybody that I'm not great at what I'm doing. But at the end of the day, it, you know, it's better because uh, it puts a when I do it live because I practice outside of streaming, obviously. Uh, but when I do it live, it's like really displaying what I know right off the cuff because I do want to. Uh, impress you guys no i definitely I, I definitely want to um how do you say like you're seeing my skill at its current level when i'm doing it live when i'm it's all it's all process you know but we'll squeeze in a few more gun designs here some of these look like cannons which are like pretty funny to me uh, maybe this has a spot here that kind of connects What's great is this like cut tool, man. I love this tool. Just cut out all the stuff in between. Squeeze it in. Hopefully my YouTube is is working. I really got to figure out the settings for that that thing. I think this one could use the help of. This this will probably use the help of the sculpting tool, so we'll we will take this off and we will <laughs> that looks ridiculous. Brett will do a push. You know what I mean? Looks looks a little limp. <laughs> Maybe we can extend it. Maybe that's cool. We'll hold shift. We'll smooth out the lines. And then we'll go back. And I think, you know, then we can continue building off of this. And I try not to make little hairy lines because you got to make those lines with confidence, you know. So this is looking all right. Let's do like an emblem thing here. We will use the cut tool again. Cut out of here. Maybe put... These guns usually don't have like this little piece, but whatever, you know, I'll do the piece. We'll put the hammer that's like over here somewhere. Stream goofed again. Back up though. Man, I really got to figure out this stream, man. What is happening? I apologize for the stream messing up. I may just start sh only streaming on Twitch. If this keeps happening, I thought this would help me out, but we'll see. 
Probably go to sculpt mode. Maybe even make it longer. Continue editing. Oh man. Oh, I see Nuggles McJingles. You also subscribed on to my YouTube. I appreciate that as well. Um, are you watching me on YouTube or on Twitch? I'm watching on Twitch. Yeah, it's better. The stream is way better on Twitch. Like, I don't know. Still, still fixing some settings. So, anyway, we got three minutes before we gotta go. So we'll just go here. Maybe I can squeeze in another one. See if we can make something ridiculous, like a rectangular one. This will probably just end up looking like a pistol. Let's see if we can try and keep it to the same aesthetic. Just, I'm like breezing through this, like, just go, go, go. <laughs> Put some details there. Oh, let's see if we could do better details. This handle does not look like you can hold it, so we'll extend it down. Question, what made you choose this particular firearm aesthetic? Um, I chose it because uh, I'm working on I'm working on something that needs this aesthetic. Uh, and I think it's it helps to to so yeah, so I'm doing it to learn the aesthetic, so then I can take it to my own style on how I'm gonna make it and stuff. So that's why. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I usually make sci-fi stuff, but I'm trying to challenge myself to create, uh, I don't know, anything. So I'm dipping into like medieval, Victorian, dipping into all that because it's usually something I wouldn't do. And honestly, dipping outside of your comfort zone is always the time that you grow the most because you're always able to go back to your comfort zone. Your comfort zone doesn't go away, you know? So like... Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying here, but <laughs> dip in now, dip out. This one looks like a vacuum cleaner, real blocky. <laughs> I don't like that one. We're just going to erase that. Okay. A uh, portfolio of my 2D drawings? I do not. But, um, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, let's see if I can get it here. You can obviously look at my YouTube channel that has stuff on there or whatever. But you can try, how do I go on the Twitch? Twitch, okay. You can check out, Let's see if I can put it in here. So yeah, I that website is some pretty old work. Pretty, pretty old work. Um. Uh, and that, uh, yeah, it's some pretty old work that I need to update, but that's some of the, some of the stuff and the style that, that I enjoyed doing right now. I'm trying to change, change all that and 
progress more towards uh, illustration drawing style, which you are now seeing now uh, and stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, I think this is going to be the end of my stream. So let me go to my outro. All right, guys. So everybody watching, uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I do these streams on Wednesday early morning, like around now and three hours before, right? And then Saturdays. And eventually I, I plan to increase the amount of times that I can do this. I just have to get into the routine of waking up earlier. Um, and I'm mostly just hanging out, learning, learning how to draw, because I usually do 3D. Thank you for bearing with me and if anybody who's going through like YouTube or Twitch stream problems, like there, there's my computer is definitely fit to stream. I have a pretty decent computer, so I'm going to have to check that out. Hopefully by Saturday I have it fixed. Uh, Nuggles McJingles, thank you for subscribing both on my Twitch and my YouTube. I really appreciate it. Um, he said, oh, awesome work, though. Thank you. Pretty, pretty decent stuff. I have I have fun with my work. I made half of those I think in After Effects and half of those in 3D. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for hanging out. I gotta go to work now. Take care. Have fun. I'll see you later. Bon voyage. Sayonara. Goodbye. <laughs>